Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. This is a different kind of video. First of all, thank you guys for praying for my family, praying for South Florida, praying for Florida in general. The hurricane was not fun. <laughs> it was not fun at all. It was actually a little scary, it was quite scary. Um, and all of us down here were very, very anxious. Um, I know I've, I went through Andrew, I went through Wilma, um, and hurricanes are nothing to sneeze at. It's just imagine an, a, a two full days of tornado warnings and storms and winds and rain and it, it was just a lot. So we came through it and there's portions of the state that did not, you know, handle it as well um, as some of us here in South Florida. But I have power. We maintained power. We maintained water. We lost the cable and internet, but that's very, that's light affliction to compare to what a lot of people are facing right now. So, um, thank you again for, you know, for keeping us in your prayers. I, you guys know I'm a woman of prayer. And so when every, when, when any, when, if there's every time that somebody bows their head or, or bends their knee to pray for me, I'm just so humbled at that. So thank you so, so much. Um, that being said, because we did have power and we had cable Friday night, um, that's when Rihanna's beauty line came out. And honey, you know, <laughs> us island people, we stick together, honey. And so the minute I found out about this line, I knew it was something that I wanted to take part in. I didn't know what part. I didn't know if I was going to like anything, but I said, I'm going to support my girl, my Bayesian girl. Um, and so I basically watched all of the beauty reviews and beauty vloggers and I was like, I have to get it. Um, I thought it was going to be a, a, a line that was specifically like online, but no, it's in the stores. And so no, shout out for that. Cause you know, me and these, me and these Sephora things, we just don't get along because you know, when it's just online, everybody scoops it up, right? A lot of the resellers scoop it up for resale. But no, I went to Sephora and Aventura Mall and they had the entire collection. I did not buy the entire collection, although I did want to buy the entire collection. Um, what I got specifically was the, okay, y'all know they, they packed this up with everything, huh? Hold on, okay. So <laughs> I got the foundation. And so the reason why I got the foundation, um, number one, I had just read that there were so many, there were so many great vlog reviews on it. But the reason why I got the foundation is I am so excited. Now for my, my sisters of the lighter hue, um, you may not know this, it may not be something that's known to you, but it's very hard as a woman of color to find makeup in our shade, right? Because we come in cool, just as in lighter, lighter skin, we are cool shade, warm shade, neutral shade. And so a lot of times brands will offer one color of my hue and that's it. They won't offer a cool tone or a warm tone, just, just one, okay? And then a lot of times, like, I'll show you um, two of my favorites. Let me see. Do I have my NARS? I don't have my NARS. Oh, here's my NARS. So there are a few beauty brands that do get it right. Um, NARS is my one of my favorites. Tom Ford, you guys know I love my Tom Ford stick. And they, they've done a great job. However, they only go just so dark. Okay, and so as far as like a full range, NARS, Lancome does a full range. Those two, I know, they do good makeup for women of all skin hues and colors, right? So different types of tones, cool tone, warm tone, neutral tone. So NARS does really well. And then Dior. So I fell in love with the Dior one. I'm just giving you a little bit of history for you guys that um, don't know makeup or don't know me in makeup. Um, Dior, I really fell in love with it at the Nordstrom Chicago Michigan Avenue they had a beauty trend show and so they had the Dior um, specialist there and you know really sold Dior and what this does for your skin so I bought this because of that presentation I actually got this um, and I looked I looked for it here I was gonna get it at Harrods when I was in England but then the woman at Harrods told me to get it in duty free so I got this in duty free for the equivalent of $30 in the regular stores I think it goes for 55 but I say that to say with Dior this is probably one of the darkest shades that they have and women of color come a lot deeper and darker and richer than this color so I say all that to say Rihanna has 40 shades okay and they come in all they come from the lightest of light to the deepest of deep okay Rihanna how do I open this hold on I'm doing all this talking ah, I don't wanna... okay well I guess I have to break the seal I'll do it from the bottom um, 
so she goes from the lightest of light to the deepest of deep and so that's why i bought the foundation because i wanted to support that work and plus i heard that it was so great so five minutes in let's go ahead and apply it so this is a brush this is a bare minerals bare essentials brush that i got if you guys follow me on instagram at i am dion dean then you saw this brush <laughs> i actually got it out of like you know how they put like the big bundle of stuff into a bag so this was it came in a bag and it was $2.99 for the entire bag okay so I just got my nails done I'm not trying to break my nail hold on am I gonna I really wanted to okay guys hold on we're having a technical difficulty technical difficulty I may just use my artiste brush but I really want to use this brush hold please okay hold on hold on all right all right so this is the bare minerals brush and it's supposed to be used with bare mineral pro bare minerals product you put it in this little can you see that put it in there and then use that to swirl around it's supposed to give you the airbrush look you guys know if you've seen any of my makeup videos before this needs to be washed I'm not going to use this but I I love my artiste brush this is the brush that I use with my Tom Ford foundation and then I don't think I've shown you this brush this is my old favorite this is from urban this is Urban Decay, I believe. Yes, it's Urban Decay. Um, this is a great stippling brush, and so I use this to stipple foundation in. And so I have these two here, right here just in case I don't like this one. So let's go ahead and go in. Let me shake it up. With the NARS one, you have to shake it up. Shake up. I don't know if I have to shake this one up. So this is 410, color 410. And like I said, the Sephora at Aventura Mall actually had the full range, so I was able to test mine out. I'm usually a cool tone. Excuse me, I'm usually a cool tone. So I'm gonna put that there. Oh, let's talk about my skin for a minute. So here are some of the things that I look for when I use foundation. I have hyperpigmentation right here because of eczema and all these type of rash stuff because I'm allergic to milk, I'm, I'm allergic to dairy, and I'm allergic to wheat. However, I love a good brie cheese on a cracker. <laughs> Two things that don't go together. And so anytime I have cheese, I have milk, I have ice cream, my skin immediately breaks out, breaks out of my hairline. If any of you suffer this, it's not suffer, that's a, that's a strong word. But if any of you guys go through that, then you know that you can't do this or you can't eat those things. So when I look for foundation, I'm just not looking for, you know, how good it feels. I want coverage. Now the coverage, this is pretty intense because I have been doing really, really poorly. But um, I'm hoping that this will give me enough co coverage to get by until I start eating right. Um, and then I can apply. What I've seen from... Um, the other vloggers is that it's it's medium coverage but you can add to it so let's go ahead and go in here so all right so we're putting it oops sorry so I'm putting it right there all right let's go in oh I'm gonna buff that in oh I like this brush now for you guys that have never seen one of my makeup tutorials I don't do many but <laughs> I, tr I do try to do some. I don't do the whole contouring. Um, I don't want to say I don't do it. I'm going to say that I am a toddler mom. <laughs> and so um, I don't, on, a, on an everyday basis, I don't, I'm going to add some more. This is a really good brush. Look at that. That basically just put it all on my face. Um, I don't do a lot of concealing. Um, and I know that if I were to do the concealing, it would help a lot better with the hyperpigmentation. But this is just like what I would do every day. Oh, I love this brush. I know that this is about the um, foundation, but this bare minerals brush. So I'm stippling it into the skin. Can you guys see that? And so this is good coverage. This is enough coverage to get me by. I can go to Publix with this coverage. <laughs> I can't go to the drag show yet. <laughs> with this coverage I'd want more coverage I love this brush guys I'm so serious this brush was the equivalent of like 20 cents because the whole bag was $2.99 yes it was and it got like some perfumes and stuff okay so see right there and so once I start eating better that inflammation will go down but you see it's covered some of these spots so let's go ahead and add some more okay let's do another layer 
Let's let that cool down a little bit. Okay, so let's do another layer for full coverage. Oh, I don't want to mess that up. I hate when that happens. Okay, so let's do another layer for full coverage. Oh, this is good stuff, honey. Ooh, this brush. Let me tell you something. The brush makes the difference. I love this brush. I didn't. I didn't get her brush because I didn't get her brush. I did. There's no real reason why I didn't get her brush. Um, I just knew that I had other brushes at home that, and I knew that I got this one that I wanted to try. This brush is everything. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this brush is everything, honey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. Mm. That coverage is beautiful. I don't know if you're seeing it on, yes, you, you guys are seeing that on camera. Okay, so let's do the other side. Let's do another, I did another three pumps right here in the middle. Oh, that is great coverage. You see that? Oh, this brush, guys. Seriously? I'm going to leave a link to this brush. Oh, sorry. Somebody's cutting down or cutting like their trees outside. <laughs> so you may be able to hear like the, the saw. Not the saw. The um Yeah, the saw. Okay. Oh, I love this brush. Oh. Okay, so for me, like I said, I don't do I don't do a lot of concealer and all that kind of stuff, um, because it's just a lot on a daily basis. But, oops, sorry. That is the foundation. This is gorgeous. Rihanna, you did this. You did this. Ooh, ooh. Let's do a little bit of eye. You want to do some eye? Let's do a smoky eye. Okay, let's do a smoky eye. So I have my Becca. This is my Becca palette. And this I actually got um, from one of my segments for Good Morning Texas. So, and I use this like crazy. So this, this is for an, an oh, what palette is this? Ombre Nude Eye Palette. So easy smoky eye for when I'm just like going out. And this is the Artiche brush that I got once again for Good Morning Texas. I'm going to use this mirror here because I can see. Okay, so easy smoky eye. I just laid on and put it under here as well. You guys have seen this already. You guys have seen me do this. Easy smoky eye. Okay. And I use my fingers a lot because toddler mom, I don't have too much time. And so there are times when I just dip my finger into there and just go in there. I really do. Okay, so let's do that. Just one little swipe under here. Once again, this is just everyday makeup. Going out to the grocery store. Yeah, nothing big. And then let me draw my eyebrows, honey. <laughs> let me not go to the store. Oh my gosh, I need to sharpen that. Okay, let's see. Have we not all been there? We're running out the door and we're like, let me use this. We're running out the door and we forget that we have no brows on. This is literally running out the door eyebrow. Okay. All right, let me take the top off. This is NYX, I don't know what color this is. This is NYX soft brown. So I will literally just like draw it on and then brush through it so it looks a little natural. And then, Sorry guys, my eyebrow routine, I'm telling you, is very, I have, for those of you that are moms, stay at home moms, just on a, like in a rush, don't even have to be a mom, just in a rush, once you learn how to do a quick brow, there's nothing else. All right, and then let's do, I'm having fun doing this guys, I hope you can see that, like I love, I love makeup, I love what it can do. Um, my voluminous mascara. Let's put on a little bit of mascara just so we can see. Ooh, look at that. Let's put on a little bit. I don't wear lashes. I am going to be getting some um, individual lashes and amazing lash very soon. I'm going to take you guys with me so that you can see that process. Let me know if that's something that you do or something that you'd actually want to see. Um, 
I know that I introduced my clients, to, I've introduced a lot of my styling clients to it that don't have a lot of time for all this stuff. And they're like, I just want to look awake. And so I always, you know, refer them to Amazing Lash and they're in love because they're like, I can just, I don't have to do mascara. I just do eye makeup and I'm out the door. So I may do that. Um, I actually like the process of putting on mascara. I think it's fun. I think it's cathartic. I think getting to each lash like I'm doing right now is like, I love it. I absolutely love it but sometimes you just don't have the time okay so let's go back in my voluminous lash so let me know I I used to wear them I know that I've told you this story before I used to wear the lashes and I just didn't take care of them um, with the individual lashes you really have to get them done you have to maintain them I did not I you know I just didn't I didn't go and get them done. I waited too long between um, services and I just I just didn't do a good job at keeping them. But I'm going to start again, so. All right. All right, so there we go. Do I look like somebody, as my mom would say? Um, I've heard that this foundation doesn't need to be set. I'm in Florida, so I'm thinking it does. <laughs> This will melt right off. I have my H&M powder. Um, the, it's the True Matte Finishing Powder. I love it. It was only $5. Um, she has a blot powder, but I didn't, I didn't buy it. So I'm not going to front like I did. So then let's put on my blush. Oh, here it is. So my favorite blush, my all-time favorite blush, I've used this before. This is the Rosy Glow from Dior. And I can't find my blush brush, so I'm just going to use the brush they gave me. And I just smile. Rosy Glow. It literally just gives you a rosy glow. And then, let's finish it off with this MAC So Me Matte Lip Stain. Not a lip. What do they call it? They call it liquid lip color, retro matte. So I got this color in Chicago, um, like last when I got it in the winter and I love it. So let's go. A little deeper. Um, there you go. So that's the matte color. So this is basically what I would do if I'm just running out. Beautiful, right? But if you want to add a little something, something to it, I have, this is a, this is a gloss from H&M. I love the H&M line. This is the Lush Lip Vinyl. Please don't ask me what color it is because I don't know what it is. Chic Shock. Chic Chalk. So this is if you just want a matte look. If you want to gloss it up a little bit, Put this on top. Isn't that pretty? So yeah. Quick, fast, and easy. So that was 18 minutes minus five minutes of me chatting away. <laughs> but I want you to be educated about um, the line um, why it's so important to the beauty industry um, for Rihanna to have launched this with her 40 shades and just do it right like the, she did this right it looks good you feel like you see it you can see the hyperpigmentation yes it's gonna the 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 irritation is gonna shine through but for the most part it's good it's beautiful coverage I didn't I didn't need a concealer or anything like that I'm looking in the mirror as I'm talking to you and so if you're the kind of person you want to add lashes or you want to go deeper with the eye, this is something that I would do every day. I would walk out the house with this and go to meetings with clients or go shopping or whatever. This is what I would wear. So how do I look? <laughs> so thank you for watching. You know, the <laughs> because we were suffering the hurricane and there's no cable, there's no internet. Um, why not play in makeup, honey? Hmm. All right, so love you. We never pay retail. If you've tried this line, let me know um, how you like it. If you have some of the other products, I know I want to try um, uh, the the pods that she has, um, like the stick, 
the matte sticks. Um, there's an orange blush that I want to try, and so I wanted I try I wanted to test this out first to see how I like it, but I really I'm really liking this. This really looks good. This really looks good. I might go buy another bottle because I don't want her to change her mind, leave the industry, and then I have no <laughs> no um, makeup. So. Love you. We never pay retail. Please um, subscribe. Hit like if you want to see more of these videos. If there are any other products that you want to see me um, try out, or if you have any beauty or makeup questions, you guys know that beauty is my is my fun place, honey. So I would love to do more of these type of videos for you. All right, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at I am Dion Dean. We can go to Sephora together, right? Love you. Bye. There are counterfeit Jimmy Choo, Louboutin, Manolo Blahniks out there, and a lot of times you can tell that it's not real because the symmetry of the stitching. Lining never lies. I'm going to say, you're going to hear me say that over and over again. The lining never lies. So natural fibers and synthetic fibers, what's the difference? Um, and why does that add to cost? 